Now to hold my work feet, work piece, uh, what I've used here is a um, paint lid off of a spray bomb and just simply took some side cutters, cut a slot on each side and what it does here is you basically insert your wire there and hold a wire on each side so it prevents your workpiece from moving around and uh, if any solder does drip, it will drip into the bottom of the cup so uh, it won't burn anything. As I'm waiting for my heating iron to warm up, uh, what I could use uh, after I've done soldering is, uh, is either use shrink tube, which I'm going to use, or use electrical tape. Uh, shrink tube provides a uh, uh, provides a better uh, better seal against any moisture or anything like that. And uh, remember, because a lot of people do make this mistake, is put the shrink tube on before you solder it. Because once you've soldered it, there's no way of uh, actually applying the shrink tube unless you uh, uh, unsolder the joint and resolder it again. And uh, shrink tube, basically how it works is, uh, is it shrinks under uh, heat. You can use, either use a lighter or a heat gun, which I'm going to use a heat gun for. And um, wait till your joint, your solder joint, cools down before you put the shrink tube on top of it because it will shrink as you're sliding it over top of the joint. And that, uh, that can cause problems. Now what you want to do is take the soldering iron and put it underneath the wire. So in theory, heat rises up. So the heat will transfer from your soldering iron up to the wire. And you wait till it's hot enough until you apply the solder. And when it's hot enough, the solder should flow nicely between the two wires. Now make sure you apply enough solder the first time also, because if you apply solder again, it won't turn out as nice and smooth. After you're done starting the joint, it should look something like that. And what you want to do is apply the heat shrink over top there. Make sure the uh, the joint is fairly centered. And uh, here, as I have a heat gun, but you can also use a lighter for this. Basically, what it does is the heat uh, shrinks the tube over top of it, so it acts like the uh, wire casing. After that's done, there you have it, soldered joint.